If you've ever experienced flight delays, you've probably heard a pilot or two pledge to make up some time in the air. Which raises the question, if pilots can make the planes fly faster, why don't they just do that all the time? Can they really shave time in flight? Yes, but it's very limited. Commercial jets have a flight management system, or FMS, that calculates the most efficient airspeed for a given trip, taking into account things like passenger load and cruising altitude. A pilot can defy the FMS and fly faster, but he would then burn a lot more fuel and add thousands of dollars to the flight's expense, which of course no airline wants. Pilots can also try to make up time by rerouting. That means asking air traffic control for permission to take a shortcut. But that may not be possible during heavy congestion periods, and certain established routes like the one between Newark and Atlanta are so direct that there is no shortcut. During especially busy periods around, say, Thanksgiving, the FAA sometimes opens restricted military airspace to allow for more direct and less congested routes between certain airports. And then there's the weather. Normally the bane of air travel, sometimes the weather actually helps. If there are tailwinds, a pilot can pick up speed without burning more fuel. Of course, if a plane makes up too much time and is on track for an early arrival, the aircraft may be forced into a holding pattern, waiting for air traffic control to free up a runway and grant permission to land.